Next time you're pushing for one more rep in the gym, it might be better to just stop. Doctors across the country are arguing the popular CrossFit workout could do more harm than good. The cross-training program urges exercisers to go harder and faster, all while pushing through their limits. But going too far with these strenuous drills could cause a condition called rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdo, for short, causes muscle cells to literally explode, flooding blood vessels with their contents, and in extreme cases, causing kidney failure. One woman said it was more painful than childbirth. I've had two babies and I would have five more before I ever had to go through this again. And Dr. Ron Golden says only experienced trainers should try CrossFit. If you haven't worked out for a while, don't jump into it and do the hardest workout you've ever done. The condition is on the rise as CrossFit grows increasingly popular with more than 6,000 affiliated gyms in the United States. That's up from only 50 in 2005. But the regimen has its fair share of critics. A columnist for the Huffington Post scolds the CrossFit culture as one of pushing your body to the point of near exhaustion. It is a system of punishing exercises built on a platform of peer pressure. Even converts admit the gym climate can be a bit much. Some people refer to uh, folks who do CrossFit as crazy, and some people even call it a cult. Critics have even tried advancing their cause by creating Uncle Rabdo, a clown mascot suffering from the muscle disease. But other CrossFit trainers say Rabdo is just the result of irresponsible workouts. According to one participant, the disease is an extreme condition thwarted upon oneself. It's not the sport, the organization, or even the coaches. It's your own fault. Overall, doctors agree that the intensive workouts are healthy in moderation. It's key to listen to your body and avoid pushing too hard. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne.